Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome to part two of the self-destructing SSD build log. So in this build log, the actual device, the prototype is completely finished, it works 100%. Though in this video, I'm going to be soldering all the components onto a circuit board, then fitting the circuit board and everything else inside the optical drive, hopefully getting a few practical tests done. So let's first go over the layout of the optical drive. Right, so firstly, I'll show you that this optical drive has been gutted. All the internal components are in fact gone. So firstly, we're going to have the SSD, which is going to be sitting at the top right inside it, and then some bag, little bag of thermite is gonna go on top of it. And then the light is gonna go underneath and the servo, which is going to pull back a piece of string, which is going to be attached to the button on the lighter, is going to be just beside it. So the whole idea here is that you will arm the device by pressing a small button. Once it's armed, when someone tries to pick the computer up and move it, the servo will move, uh, it will turn the will pull a piece of string, which is going to turn on the lighter, light the bag of thermites, and wipe your SSD, essentially. So I'll do a quick demonstration now. So if I turn this whole thing off and on again, by unplugging it and replugging it in. So the servo twitches, but that's fine. So <clears throat> right now it's not armed, so if I try to move it, nothing will happen until I hold the button for about four seconds, I think it is. There we go. I don't know if you heard that. There's, there was a very faint buzzer noise because it's only running off 3.3 volts, so it doesn't really get very loud. So now it's armed. If I were to try and pick up this computer, you can see that the servo activates and it pulls back and it will turn on the lighter, wait a few seconds for that reaction to get going and then it will turn the lighter back off. So the only thing left to do is to solder all the components onto a circuit board. So let's go do that. Right guys, so now everything is soldered, so it should technically work as it is. I'll just show you what I've done. So there's a big mess on the back side, but let's ignore that. We've got our positive and negative wires here. Of course the buzzer voltage regulator, the chip itself, and the uh, gyroscope accelerometer thing. And then we've got a few headers. So these first two are going to be for the button. I'm actually going to be putting the button on the front of the optical drive. So the real button for it, so that's going to be quite cool. And the other three are for the servo, so the servo will connect there. So that's that. Uh, so let's check if it actually works, because I haven't actually tested that. I should have tested it before, but oh well. Let's plug this in. So positive going to go. I swear one batch, there we go. Positive goes here, and negative. Okay, let's bring this into view. So for the button, I'm just going to be shorting these two headers as I haven't actually got a proper button in there just yet. Please work. Okay, so I think you guys heard that very faint buzz. So now if I move this, in particular the uh, accelerometer gyroscope, it should actually start moving the servo. So there we go. So it does actually work. Nice, and after a few seconds it should release the... Okay, great, so it works. That's a turn up for the books. It worked first time. Awesome. So as you can see, I've made some progress. Uh, so I've hot glued the servo to the bottom of the optical drive here and the lighter as well. I was going to use string, but that kept on stretching and if I was using other materials, it would sometimes just snap off the whole or let's call it trigger assembly for the lighter. So I decided to go with a zip tie because it works perfectly. So I've also hot glued a button behind the physical ejects button of this optical drive. So if I, that's gonna be the arming button. So yeah, the uh, when I get to the final thing, there's probably going to be a bag of thermite underneath this SSD as well as on top, because of course there's four eight gigabyte modules, which will need to be completely destroyed. So yeah, all that's left to be done is put everything inside the optical drive, though I will show you that it's working. I'll move the thermite and SSD. 
safely away because it would be kind of a bad idea to do this indoors. <laughs> so if I hold the front button to arm it, there we go. Now I don't think you're going to be able to see the flame just because of, well, light, but we shall see. So you go, it lights. I've modified this so I've cut off a large section of it because otherwise it won't be able to uh, turn because it will hit the top of the optical drive. And I've made sure it only goes around a certain way instead of the full 180 degrees like last time because, again, it's just going to pull the whole lighter off or pull the trigger assembly off or something like that. So yeah, I just need to put everything inside the optical drive and then we can get to the real, the real thing. So that's that for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. The next video is probably going to be the finale and not another build log. So stay tuned for that. It should be rather explosive. Uh, remember to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Satonic. Uh, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.